These are the focus tonight. Sarawak delegation explores SME collaboration opportunities in South Korea. Sarawak establishes SISCOM to boost satellite technology industry. Sarawak Eyes opportunity to host World Cricket Championship. Building a skilled workforce through STEM and English proficiency. Sarawak considered as host for International Conference on Special Education. Good evening, Sarawak Deputy Premier Dato Amar Awang Tengah Ali Hassan led a Sarawak delegation to visit the Korea Technology and Information Promotion Agency for SMES, TIPA, in Seoul, South Korea. The visit on Thursday aimed to explore potential collaborations that can significantly benefit the development of small and medium enterprises SME in Sarawak. During the visit, TIPA expressed their interest in establishing potential areas of collaboration with Sarawak through the exchange and transfer of technology, joint research and development with R&D institutions, and B2B business matching between Sarawak and South Korea to help SME to expand their market reach. For the record, TIPA is a dedicated government agency to support and advance the competitiveness of SME in South Korea. Its roles are to foster innovation, provide technological assistance and enhance the competitiveness of SME through various support programs and services for sustainable growth. The Sarawak government has established the Space and Satellite Industry Committee, SISCOM, to drive the development of satellite technology in the state. Sarawak Minister for Utility and Telecommunication, Dr. Sri July Hinarawi, said the committee will be chaired by his ministry. According to him, the committee will include relevant agencies such as the Sarawak Multimedia Authority, SMA, MESAT, Global Emberhat, MESAT, the Land and Survey Department, JTS, and the Sarawak State Attorney General's Chambers. Our aim is to create a robust uh, ecosystem that support the growth and application of satellite technology across various sectors with the aspiration of owning and managing our own satellite technology asset one of these days. So this is the dream that we have in mind. Hopefully that we materialize. Eh? He made these remarks in a press conference following a satellite technology briefing by Mesat in Kuching on Friday. Adul Sri Julaihi also emphasised that knowledge in satellite technology is crucial for making sound strategic decisions regarding planning and implementation in the industry. He said, Syscom must acquire knowledge by conducting research on satellite details and technology if the committee aims to explore space and satellite technology with the hope of owning it in the future. With the deployment of uh, satellite technology, it has the potential to spur economic uh, growth and development in Sarawak. You know, Sarawak is very uh, wide, uh, with uh, many areas yet to be fully connected. So this is one, the, the, one of the measures that we are taking. Sarawak is once again eyeing the opportunity to host another international sporting event, specifically the Under-19 Women's World Cricket Championship scheduled for next year. Sarawak Minister for Youth, Sports and Entrepreneur Development at Sri Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza said the championship will involve more than 20 countries, but the venue has yet to be determined. Given that Sarawak recently acquired its own cricket field, he mentioned that it opens up the possibility for the state to host the championship. Dan saya dipahamkan persatuan kriket Malaysia dan juga persatuan kriket Sarawak sedang berusaha untuk dengan diadakan pertandingan kriket peringkat antarabangsa insyaAllah tahun harapan. Sebab itulah sekiranya kita mendapat ruang untuk menjadi penganjur, dia tidak boleh hanya padang saja. Kemudahan lain, tempat changing room dan uh, toilet dan lain-lain yang mesti ada. He said this when speaking to reporters after officiating the symbolic inauguration of the Sarawak cricket field at the Sarawak Sports Complex in Kuching on Friday. Meanwhile, although yet to be finalised, Dr. Sri Abdul Karim informed their plans to upgrade the cricket field 
are indeed in place after the conclusion of the 21st Malaysia Games Sukma Sarawak 2024, which will commence on to August 17th. Dan saya akan mengatur uh, selepas Sukma ini di mana tempat-tempat untuk penonton, di mana bangunan yang perlu dibina uh, sebelahan dengan padan kriket ini supaya ia akan menjadi lebih kurang macam stadium dia sendiri lah, uh, stadium dia sendiri. The importance of STEM education is underscored by the post-COVID-19 development strategy PCDS 2030. According to Sarawak Minister for Education, Innovation and Talent Development, Dr. Sri Roland Sagawe Ind, one of the key targets is to achieve 60% enrollment in STEM disciplines and to cultivate a workforce where 3% possess high-level skills. He also emphasized that a workforce with a high percentage of STEM-trained individuals will be better equipped to engage in high-tech industries, research and development, and other areas critical to economic diversification and resilience. This sounds very ambitious, but we must have ambitious targets because it is designed to ensure that Sarawak can meet the demands of a rapidly changing global landscape and secure its social economic progress. A strong foundation in STEM subjects at the primary level is essential for preparing students for more advanced studies and careers in this field. This in turn will help to create a skilled workforce capable of driving innovation and supporting Sarawak economic growth. He spoke at the closing ceremony of the Sarawak Dual Language Program DLP Basic Training Course for Year 5, 2024, held in Kuching on Thursday. Sarawak is once again being considered as a platform to empower persons with disabilities PWD after being eyed as the host for the International Conference on Special Education ICSE next year. Sarawak Minister for Women, Early Childhood and Community Wellbeing Development, Atta Sri Fatima Abdullah, said her ministry is always open to conducting international conference initiatives to create more opportunities and empower the PWD community. Pagi ini kita ini adalah satu forum yang sangat bagus di mana kita dapat mendengar dan, dan juga mendapat manfaat berkaitan dengan the best practices that are done in various uh, other countries. The more we uh, interact and the more we share information, the better it is for our community of specialists. Dan inilah yang kita mahu. She said this when met by reporters after receiving a courtesy visit from the Southeast Asian Minister of Education Organization Regional Center for Special Education Needs, Simo Sand, in Kuching on Friday. Earlier, she also received a courtesy call from the Sarawak Deaf Sports Association and the Sarawak Silamban Association. And that's the English edition with me, Philip Yo. More news can be found in our official portal, ukas.sarawak.gov.my and social media platforms including Facebook and YouTube. Only 15 days left until the 21st Sukma begins. We would like to take the opportunity to invite Sarawakians from all walks of life to celebrate and enliven the upcoming sporting event. Hashtag Saluran Informasi Rakyat. Have a good night. Oh, 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 oh,